since 2015, uh, many changes uh, have uh, uh, have came in. So we have implemented all these major changes in these new guidelines. And the, the first uh, major change relates to diagnosis and uh, the use of high sensitivity troponin over uh, the less sensitive ones. And especially to implement this high sensitive troponin in a new algorithm of zero one hour. And this has a major impact, especially in the emergency department, uh, where the use of uh, such algorithm allow to rule out MIs and early discharge of your patients. So this is going to be a major change for uh, 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 emergency physician. The second uh, major point uh, is the implementation of non-invasive uh, imaging, uh, especially during the uh, diagnosis uh, 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 step, uh, because uh, now we have the coronary computed uh, tomography and geography, uh, which allow uh, early rule out of uh, an underlying CAD and avoids also invasive angiography in almost uh, one third of the patients. So these are this is a major change. Uh, third, I would say that uh, we have also revised the risk stratification uh, for an early invasive approach, and we have deleted the intermediate risk group, and we have mainly uh, simplified uh, the uh, high risk group. Uh, this is mainly non-STEMI patients with uh, high sensitivity troponin or GRACE risk score above 140, or those with dynamic new or presumably new ST changes. And these has to go to the CAT lab within 24 uh, hours of admission. Then uh, we have implemented a new chapter, uh, which relates to MINOCA. These are myocardial infarction uh, with non-obstructive coronary artery disease. This is quite frequent. And we have highlighted uh, the key role of uh, cardiac uh, magnetic resonance uh, to identify the underlying cause. And this did not exist before. So it's a major change uh, in these two guidelines. And finally, the two last points relates to antithrombotic treatment. The first one to dual antiplatelet therapy. And the mainstay for the duration is 12 months, but it can be shortened uh, to one month, or it can be extended uh, beyond 12 months depending on, on the risk. And it can be also modified by uh, switching DAP or de-escalation. So there are many different scenery which have been implemented. And the final point, uh, it's a very important point, it relates to the patients who are in need for oral anticoagulation. And these patients represent 10% uh, of patients with non stem And we have clearly recommended uh, the use of uh, NOAC over VKA. And then we have also recommended the use of dual therapy, a combination of NOAC plus single antiplatelet therapy for the first 12 months after a very short uh, period of triple antithrombotic treatment uh, of seven days. So these are major uh, changes as uh, we, we had before. And this is mainly based on uh, the recent uh, randomized trials. And finally, uh, we have uh, paid particular attention to the layout of these guidelines, and we have implemented the use of a short uh, audio recording to guide you through the main figures. And finally, we have created uh, two companion papers uh, with a very small scenery, about uh, 80 in total, which should help you to implement these guidelines uh, in your daily practice. So I hope uh, that you should enjoy uh, these new guidelines.